want to keep your voice down. What, are you sneaking out or something? Yeah, or something. So what? You sneaking over to the girls' school over on the other side of town? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not. Whatever. Just be careful. Black skulls come out tonight. You just don't wanna. Shut up, no way. Do me a favor, all right? Shut up. Or I'll shut you up. They're letting you into the black skulls. Yeah. Seriously? Go to sleep. You didn't see anything. I was in my bed the whole time. And most importantly of all, you don't know where I went. Got that? Do you have any idea how much trouble you're going to get in when you get caught, Charlie? Do you have any idea how much trouble you're going to get in if I get caught? <laughs> Whatever. Good luck, man. <laughs> you're going to need it. scare me no you don't seem scared at all not at all what are you gonna do to me don't worry we won't kill you Charlie that's not our job Here we are. You're not nervous, are you, cadet? I don't think so. Nah, he's not nervous. Why would he be? Hey, we were all kind of nervous when we did this. Right? Yeah, but it changed our lives. So what do you want me to do? We go down.
Take off your sweats. What is this? Some sort of hazing thing? That's not what I... You don't have to do this, Charlie. I mean, we invited you here today to become a part of the Black Skulls because we thought... Well, we thought you had potential. You don't have to live up to your potential. It's okay if you don't. Most people don't. Just turn around and go back up to your bunk, cadet. Someone else will take your place, that's all. It's okay. It's fine. Just tell me what I have to do. Well, first... We have to mark you. Know that these words were written in the blood of men in the year of our Lord, 1778. We, the undersigned, make this pledge that the valor of our actions and the solidarity of our brotherhood set us above all others. We pledge our lives and our souls to the Black Skulls for this time, for all future time, that our legacy may live on and our creed continue for all those who come hereafter to our brotherhood. Do you, Cadet Charles Cullen, accept the burden, the responsibility, and the right of brotherhood into the Black Skulls? Yes. Do you, Cadet Charles Cullen, swear upon your life and your afterlife to keep secret all you've seen and learned or will see and learn with your induction into the Black Skulls upon pain of death. Yes. And you, Cadet Charles Cullen, pledge not only your servitude, but your very existence to the Brotherhood of the Black Skulls. Yes. Then, Cadet Charles Cullen, as master and commander, I grant you membership and privilege into the Society of the Black Skulls. <laughs> Welcome, brother. You must now take this candle through that entrance and place it on the altar at the other end without letting its flame burn out. When you emerge, you shall take your place as one of us.
You're gonna be okay? My opinion counts now? Lee, this is not a punishment, okay? This is a great opportunity for you. This is Port Nathan, the complex. You know, you never even asked me if I wanted this. For once. You're 18. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You're here because you're gonna have a brilliant career and achieve all the things in life that you can. More than I could. I'm not like you, Dad. I don't want you to be like me. I want you to be better than me. Look, I'm probably not gonna see you for a few months. Can we try and end this on a high note? <sighs> yeah. Okay, I know what you mean well. <sighs> it's gonna work out, I promise you. You're a good man. New cadet. I can't tell anything yet. Let's, uh, let's give this guy a couple minutes. Yeah. Okay, I want transcripts. I want aptitude scores. Give me dental records. Everything we can get our hands on this guy. I'm on it. Good. What about the other candidates? Nah. This one's mine. This is G7, right? Yeah. So? So, I'm your new roommate. Lee Han. Where's your uniform? I just got here. They haven't issued me my gear yet. Where are you from? Midwest. Poor Nathan took me in on a special scholarship. I was in the Naval ROTC program in college. Sorry, Matt. It's been kind of weird around here. I'm Robert Severn. Hi. So do I call you Bob or? <laughs> Severn. Oh, okay, Dad. If I'd grown up in a prison, I guess this would be almost kind of homey. <laughs> prison has better food. <laughs> so uh, how does some new transfer qualify for a dorm room instead of the barracks? I don't know. Chart high on some aptitude tests, I guess. Which test? Military strategy. I was accepted at Annapolis, but the Navy put me here at the complex. Really? So, uh, you're cool if, say, your new roommate wants to cheat off of you. Knock yourself out. <laughs> you said it's been kind of weird around here, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Some second-year cadet went missing last week. Really? You mean like he went AWOL or something? You ever heard of the Black Skulls? That sounds like pirates. No, come on, the Black Skulls. It's like the Skull and Crossbones at, at Yale or the Masons. This is like the Navy version. It's a secret brotherhood here at the complex. Hey, who said being a Navy cadet is boring? If it's such a secret society or whatever, how do you know about it? I'm on the list of pledge. Really? Did you get in with the Black Skulls? You were set for life. Do you know how many Navy top brass are Black Skulls? Senators, business elite? You were set. So what does this have to do with some missing cadet? Well, I, uh, I guess he was on the list of pledge too and he washed out. No, <sighs> they think you might have told people or something. <sighs> You're not supposed to tell anybody 
about what goes on with the black skulls. Mm, was he killed or what? <laughs> Come on. It's not like that. <sighs> Anyways, nobody thinks he's dead or anything, especially not the cops. His stuff's gone. He probably just got embarrassed when he got sculled. <sighs> but now, I mean, the school's getting all paranoid. They had some top Navy guys here all last week investigating it with the cops. <sighs> So what happens if you get to pledge and you don't get in? Oh, I'll get in. Who knows? Maybe they'll ask you to join. <laughs> Not me, man. I don't even want to be in the Navy, let alone some secret society thing. I'm not a joiner. We'll get along just fine then. Sir? At ease, Captain. This is an informal affair. Have a seat. We have a serious problem at the complex, as you know. A couple of problems. One of them happens to be a cadet in your naval tactics class, Victor Thanos. Sir? I've been spending the last week speaking with the Port Nathan Sheriff's Department and the Navy concerning the Charlotte Cullen incident. It's a given that Cullen was somehow tangled up with Thanos and his black skull. Thanos is a suspect? Well, yes and no. The police have six cadets who are willing to testify in court that Cullen was telling everyone he was going to some sort of initiation ritual or something the same night he disappeared. So why hasn't Thanos been arrested? That's the problem part. Are you familiar with the Black Skull? Only by rumor and innuendo. They're somewhere between a college frat and the Illuminati. They have members in every naval academy and base in the country. And it all started here. They've been around since there wasn't any. Anyway, they go deep. When I get an email from the Secretary of the Navy's office politely asking me to lay off, I take notice. I wouldn't deal with them unless I felt it was absolutely necessary. So how can I help you? Thanos is in your class. And I need you and his other instructors to keep an eye on him. Anything suspicious, Anything you hear or observe, I need you to report directly to me about it. Thanos is graduating this year. If things are as problematic as you say, perhaps it's best just to wait it out. I wish I could afford to do that. It seems the complex will get to train on the new AX-48 long-range missile. They're shipping us the live prototypes in a couple of days. Developed for the Gulf, capable of cracking a bunker buried half a mile underground after being launched from a ship up to 100 miles away. So. You think? What I think, Captain, is that I have an organization of extremely well-connected young men who are getting away with murder. I have ordnance on complex grounds. It's only slightly less powerful than a nuclear bomb. Do you see how all this is coming together? Actually, sir, no, I don't. Well, I do. So if nothing else, keep an eye on Victor Thanos. Oh, another thing, Captain. We have a new cadet. Lee Hanlon. His father was an enlisted man, pushed him to take the entrance and aptitude exams. He'll be in your naval tactics class. Do you always introduce new cadets personally? This one, yes. Lee Hanlon has the highest test scores in Navy history. Hmm. Impressive, sir. However, we won't be treating him any differently than my other students. I'm not expecting you to. I just need you to keep an eye on him. And keep him away from Victor Thanos. That's an order. OK, cadets. We're going to continue with our analysis of 18th century naval warfare. Today, of course, being British Admiral Thomas Pershing and his <laughs> penultimate engagement with the Spanish fleet in 1747. Now, before I begin, who can tell me why this was such an important naval battle and why we are studying it today? Yes, Mr. Johnson? Ah, uh, my friends call me Spider. <laughs> I see. And so I repeat, 
Yes, Mr. Johnson. Well, sir, I was gonna say we're talking about this today so we can be bored for an hour and admire your beautiful legs. <laughs> well, Mr. Johnson, I can correct your remark on several points. Fire away, baby. First and foremost, since you're in my classroom, I will assume you are intelligent enough to recognize that you are a cadet at the complex, not some semi-literate jock in public college. With that in mind, I will also assume that you are familiar enough with military protocol and rank insignia to recognize that the pretty shapes on my uniform identify me as Captain Morrissey. Yeah. Yes, Captain Morrissey. Yes, Captain Morrissey. Adequate. Now, from this point forth, I expect to see your eyes on my eyes from the moment I start this lesson until the moment you are dismissed from this room. The second I notice your attention on anything other than the words I'm speaking or the information I'm imparting to you, you will be gone. And the closest you will ever get to the United States Navy or any other branch of our military will be when you're forced to sell off your G.I. Joe figures on eBay to help pay your rent. Do you understand? Yes, Captain Morrissey. Now, does anyone else care to comment on my legs? What was up with that guy? These guys are a bunch of jocks. Want to be Navy pilots. I wouldn't trust them to run a tilt a world. Wow. Been here for three hours and you already have a date. What does he mean? We're gonna fight or something? Mr. Hanlon. Your first day in my classroom and already you're on my bad side. I was just Mr. Hanlon, since you seem to be such a talkative fellow, I'm sure you'll have no problem at all facing your fellow cadets and answering the question I posed at the beginning of the lesson. Why Pershing's battle with the Spanish fleet is being taught here today? Yes, Captain Morrissey. Then by all means. We are learning Pershing's battle tactics because of the innovation involved. Traditional warship cannons were side-mounted and unable to turn. So, in an engagement between fleets, it was standard to face the enemy side by side and engage an enemy vessel sideways for the cannons to be effective. Pershing had his fleet sail in a straight line right into the Spanish Armada, following his frontmost ship bearing damage, as well as presenting the smallest target possible to hit. When Pershing's fleet broke the line of the Spanish fleet, they were able to fire upon the entire fleet at once. Mr. Hanlon, I was informed about you. I'm happy to say you haven't disappointed me. That was perfect. He's wrong. <clears throat> Mr. Thanos. My memory may be in question here because I distinctly heard you speak. And for the life of me, I can't remember asking you a question. Captain Morrissey, he's wrong. We're not learning about this battle because it was such a great victory or because it made someone, what was that, invent the gun turret? We're learning about this battle because Pershing created a new battle tactic. We're learning about this battle because naval tactics is purely about creating new ways to defeat your enemy. <laughs> Just thought I'd point that out. And I appreciate it, Mr. Thanos. Since your answer was intelligent and well put, I will graciously remind you not to make an outburst in my classroom again, rather than turn this into a disciplinary matter. My apologies, Captain. Mind tell me what happened in there? Who's that guy in the back? That guy is Victor Thanos. Wow, not the Victor Thanos. Seriously, Victor Thanos is the head of the Black Skulls. Even the instructors are afraid of him. Great. Are you gonna try to get in with these guys? It's actually pretty cool. They all are. Maybe you're kind of afraid of them. Hey, boys. How's it going? Got anything smart to say now? What's your deal, Spider? How we take a hike, Severin? Yeah, we wanna have a little talk. 
What's your name again? Junebug? It's Spider. And this is G-Force, Nose Dive. Great names, really. You guys are flying right into the danger zone. <laughs> wow, that was really funny, new kid. Why don't we carve our names into your forehead as a warning to others? <sighs> what are you guys? Eight years old? I'm 18. 18? Eventually, your brain may catch up. That's it. I'm going to kill him. Mm. I believe you cadets have classes to attend. Ah, uh, yes, ma'am. Hey, cadet, I'll uh, catch up with you later on and maybe go over that homework, all right? Homework. You bet. Thanks, Captain Morrissey. Get to class, Mr. Hanlon. Big date? Pretty funny. Well, I'm asking because I just heard taps. Sounds like lights out is happening soon. They don't let you go out jogging or anything after that, right? You know I'm not going jogging. Okay, then you totally got me. What's going on? I'm pledging the Black Skulls. They're letting you into that secret society thing? <laughs> now? Yep. And what about the kid? The one that went missing? Look, I already told you, Victor and those guys are great guys. They had nothing to do with it. So out of the blue, they all of a sudden said, hey, Severin, come meet us at a secret clubhouse tonight. Pretty much. You're totally cool about the whole thing. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. Just don't yell out or anything when they whack you with the paddle. Look, it's not supposed to take that long, but if the uh, monitor comes poking around, I'm in the bathroom or something, okay? You bet. I got us, yes. for the most important night of your life? You bet. Then follow us.
Severin? No. No. We're here because this is the birthplace of the Black Skulls. Didn't know that, did you? It's where it all began. See, back in 1778, America wins the Revolutionary War. How did we do that, Niles? Guerrilla tactics on land, defeating the British Army's traditional battle tactics and troop formations. Exactly. Exactly. But America had no significant navy, no way to ward off the invading British fleet. How do we get around that, Brandon? By hiring pirates. Yes. Pirates? Seven pirates? A temporary navy of pirate vessels? This was buried deep in American history. It's considered making a deal with the devil. So? After the war was over and America began to build a legitimate navy, the first order of business was to sweep this deal under the carpet. They joined Europe in hunting down and executing the very same men who helped them win the war. So, all the pirates that had worked for America got together and searched for a secret meeting place. They saw a strange light coming from this cave and took it as a sign. So they formed a secret brotherhood, the Black Skulls. The true navy combined with the pirate heritage. And they claim this sacred spot as their original sanctuary. So, what happened to the cave? What happened to the cave? It was constructed as a bunker. It was fortified with walls 10 feet deep. It was able to withstand just about anything. It was a complex within a complex. Where are the ones that keep it alive now, Severin? all over the country, all over the world. The measure of true heroes, true men of war. And all the doors open to us, they're gonna be open to you. Now take off your clothes. were the first marks the pirates made, marking themselves for all time as rebels. Know that these words were written in the blood of men in the year of our Lord, 1778. We, the undersigned, make this pledge that the valor of our actions and the solidarity of our brotherhood shall set us above all others. We pledge our lives and our souls to the Black Skulls for this time, for all future time, that our legacy may live on and our creed continue for all who come hereafter to our brotherhood. Do you, Cadet Robert Severin, Accept the burden, the responsibility, and the right of passage into the Brotherhood of the Black Skulls. Yes. Do you, Cadet Robert Severin, swear upon your life and your afterlife to keep secret all you have seen and learned, or will see and learn, with your induction into the Black Skulls, upon pain of death. 
Yes. And do you, Cadet Robert Severin, pledge not only your servitude, but your very existence to the Brotherhood of the Black Skulls? Yes. Then, Cadet Robert Severin, as master and commander, I grant you membership and privilege into the Society of the Black Skulls. Welcome, brother. must now take that candle through that entrance and place it on the altar at the other end without letting its flame burn out. When you emerge, it will take your place as one of us. Severin. She can smell your fear. Just let it happen. deal with this. So, what's for the baseball bat? What? So, it was just some kind of induction ceremony? They didn't make you eat a human heart or anything. Look, man, I can't tell you anything about last night or anything about the Black Skulls. I made no. You can't say anything? Why are you so curious? I mean, last night you didn't even seem to care. You seem a little different somehow. Yeah, well, you barely know me. So how do you know how I am? OK, OK, fine, I won't ask. What's the deal? That's the AX-48 Skull Buster. It's the biggest weapon ever used for training in a military complex. What kind of weapon is it? It's a missile. Big one. My dad used to oversee missiles in the Navy. I talked about it nonstop. I can program one of those missiles in my sleep. Really? 
Giving away our secrets already, Severn? Uh, no, Victor, I was just, um... If you're gonna be in the Black Skull, Severn, you're gonna have to know how to mess with your buddy. Okay? Yeah. I, uh, I recognize you from, uh, tactics class. It's Lee Hanlon, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And you're Victor Thanos. <laughs> our reputations precede us. I guess so. No hard feelings about me uh, speaking up in class mm, yesterday, absolutely right? Absolutely not. You were right. Well, so were you. All right, boys. Time to hit the old dusty trail. Lee, I think I'll be seeing a lot more of you. Severin. Spider. That kid's messing with our property. I want Mr. Johnson and his little buddies over there out of my way. Will the Commodore do anything? Okay, Brandon, you don't worry about the Commodore, okay? You worry about making this kid happy. Can you do that? Can you do it? Get him take care of him. Actually, you know what? Don't, don't, don't touch, don't touch Spider. He might be of some use to us. <laughs> that was real cute back there, cadet. You trying to make me look bad? Is that what it is? Why? You don't have anything to say? <laughs> I might have to after what I plan on doing to your pretty face, cadet. Spider, spider, spider. What am I supposed to do, Victor? I'm not scared of you. You're even stupider than I thought, friend. This is between me and the new kid. He's not even one of you guys. Well, right now he's a friend of a friend. But that's actually, that's neither here nor there, Spider. Because if I didn't know any better, I'd swear you were thinking of using that stick on me. Let me find out. Ooh, let's do it. Pretty close, Spider. Definitely think you could hit me from here. No more big stick, Spider. Now what are we going to do? I don't need a stick. No? Ah! Ah! Stick. Sir, ah! sing it, Spider. Say it, or I will go in the infirmary, and no, no cop, no complex security board, no Commodore Stockwell, nobody is gonna do a damn thing about it. I don't need a stick, sir. Oh, 
Good boy, spider, good boy. <laughs> just for that, you gotta keep on living. Let's get you up here. Before you go, I just have one little reminder for you, okay? If me or any of my brothers catch you within 100 yards of Lee Hanlon for whatever reason, you will find your body hanging from a flank. Well, they'll find most of it. Anyway, do I make myself clear? I said you're a you're a friend of a friend. Gonna be okay for your next class. Yeah. Yeah. Spider isn't that much of a swing. <laughs> Wouldn't think you would. What do you uh what are you up to later? I don't know. As the the Black Skulls were having a having a party and Severin's gonna be there, kind of a bash, drinking tunes, that kind of thing. Kind of blow off some steam. Wondering if maybe you wanted to come? Yeah, why not? Good. Good. Just have a talk with Stefan there. He knows all about it. Oh, and, uh, and Lee. Don't tell anybody, okay? Oh, man, this is all I need. I'm gonna be late for programming class. Hey, man. That's what you get for making the instructor angry. You're a lot of help. I'll tell Lieutenant Jones you're in the infirmary. You're not gonna wait for me? What do I look like, your wife? Besides, somebody has to come for you. Have fun, buddy.
to Severin, he'll help you out, and then uh, when I get back, I'll take over. You got it, boss. Okay. that had worked for America got together and searched for a secret meeting place. They saw a strange light coming from this cave and took it as a sign. And they claimed this sacred spot as their original sanctuary. What did those pirates find?
Are you all right, Mr. Hanlon? Yes, ma'am. I think I just pulled a muscle or two today during wrestling practice. That's all. Hmm. I was just on my way to my room to grade some papers. This isn't your dorm, is it, Cadet? I was just going huh. over the... I know why you went in there. Victor Thanos. You went looking for him, didn't you? Look, Captain Morrissey, if I told you, you'd think I was crazy. You might be surprised. Probably not, ma'am. Look, I know more about the situation than you think. And I also know the mind of a new cadet. God knows I've taught enough of them, so I'm not going to waste your time or mine with a lecture. All I'm asking you to do is stay away from anything to do with the Black Skulls. It's not going to be easy as you think. No, probably not. It'll be easier on you in the long run. Mr. Hanlon, you have one of the most promising minds at the complex. Don't take the easy way out. More importantly, don't throw away your talent. We need it. Now I have 70 papers to grade, and you have <clears throat> two hours before lights out. So you're dismissed. Be careful. Who is it? Hey, I give up, man. Who the hell is it? Noah's dad? Noah's dad, why are you knocking? You got a key. You can sleep outside. the locals usually uh, hated the military school guys. <laughs> yeah, maybe the Port Nathan boys, but they, uh, I guess they have a soft spot for the Black Skulls. I think they understand how deep our influence goes. Aren't you afraid of getting busted? <laughs> yeah, we tend to get a lot of special consideration. Even if you get busted, you're not afraid, are you? <laughs> Keep forgetting I'm not talking to an idiot. Nah, of course we're not worried. Must be nice. It definitely has its advantages. It's nice, isn't it? Is that an author? Possibly. I'm not much of a joiner. But you know that about me. I know. You don't even want to be here, do you? In, in Port Nathan, I mean. My dad thinks I'm gonna live out all his dreams. Legally an adult. Not enlisted. After this, I'll find my place in the world. And yet, you're on a special scholarship here because you're one of the highest rated Naval Complex applicants in history. I don't know, it seems like, it seems like a waste, doesn't it? How do you know? What do you think I know, man? I've seen your records. Terrific. I'm really thrilled you're going around poking around in my life. I just wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Oh, I don't like it. You know what he asked me? I usually don't have to ask. Yeah, but I still don't like it. That's fair enough. 
That's fair. I did do it for the best of reasons, though. I want you on the block, Scullesley. I'll pass. Why? Because you heard things? You want to talk with Morris Lee? She flew an F-16 in the Gulf War. She got a purple heart when she was shot down and she's still afraid of us, Lee. She's afraid of us. They all are. Maybe you had a heart-to-heart -heart with Stockwell? Is that the case? Not only is Stockwell frightened, Lee, he's old. He's washed up. I make my own decisions, not them. Decisions like being forced to come here, those kinds of decisions, Lee. Wake up, man. Take a good look at your father, Lee. That's where you're headed, man. What are you gonna do about it? Wave your magic black skull ring at me and make it all better? <laughs> don't, have to, don't have to wave my magic ring, Lee. Once you join the Black Skulls, you have carte blanche for the rest of your life. We're everywhere, man. CEOs, lawyers, politicians, diplomats, military. We're everywhere you look. Every time you drive a car, every time you pop in a CD, every time you boot up your computer. You think this is about the Navy, me? I'm talking about the world. Of course you have to think it over, Lee. Of course, of course you do. I do have something to show you that might help help sway your opinion, though. As long as it's not the dead body of the last guy who said that idea. I guess I'm up. <laughs> I don't have to intimidate anybody. We just make them realize what we're offering. Shall we? Aren't you afraid somebody will find out about this place? Actually, this place is, uh, it's private property. Black Skulls own it. Besides, Lee, nobody does anything here we don't want them to do. We find that out. We run the whole complex. So, now what? So now, we take a little tour. Oh, I get it. You send me in there, and I get locked up for the okay, night. Okay, come on, I'm gonna go in there with you. Okay? Nothing's gonna happen, man. I don't suppose you brought a flashlight. Hold on.
Guess you like my legs too, Mr. Hamlet. got an understanding. You're under and I'm standing. Now before I knock your teeth to various parts of this room, you're gonna tell me what your buddy Victor did to my friends. Don't try to get up, Spider. Now, what's your problem? Chief Force and Nose Dive are missing. And the cops are looking for them. I haven't seen them since wrestling practice. Your friends did something to them. What friends? Uh, the Black Skulls? They're not my friends! Seemed pretty chummy with Victor yesterday. Hey, I didn't ask for his help. And what about your roommates? Yeah, you're new here. You don't know how these guys work. When Charlie Cullen went missing, the cops were here for a week. Nobody did anything. Fine. You want to go to Commerce Stockwell? <laughs> He's not going to do anything either. He might. If I tell him what I know, he might have the Black Skull shut down. Come on. I'm not going to hit you. Why the hell would you help me? No one's diving G-Force out. Because there's a lot worse things out there than you. Is he in? Hmm. He's been expecting you. You should probably take the rest of the day off. We'll call you. You should try knocking sometime, Victor. Not every door is wide open for you. you called me in here to talk about... about etiquette? Have a seat, mister, and wipe that smile off your face. You're not here to accept an award for Cadet of the Month. Oh, I seem to be invited in here a lot, sir. You must like me. That's where you're dead wrong, Mr. Thanos. I'm about as far from liking you as it gets. But, but I love you, Commodore. The Port Nathan PD are on their way over here as I speak. You went a little too far this time. Did I? Henry, Nosedive Ridley, Jack, G-Force, Alberti. They went missing yesterday. Well, that sounds like a personal problem, sir. It most definitely is a personal problem, Mr. Thanos. Funny thing is, neither one of those boys were pledging your little social club. Now, I wonder how I would wind up picking y'all as the culprits. Could plant some evidence, I suppose. Probably stick a brick of cocaine in my locker. You can do whatever the hell you want. I'm sure that if, if, if you have the police on their way here, you've got your reasons. I, I don't think that they'll arrest me, though. Do you, sir? You were sloppy, Victor. This time, one of the janitors found blood all over the shower stalls. Last place anybody saw one of those boys. The police are bringing in a forensic specialist. They'll have a search warrant to do a once over your rooms, your clothes, and whatever they feel they have to. Hell, maybe even your fraternal brethren at the White House will wind up disowning you before this is over. You can't do that. Oh, I've done it. Past tense. 
The Black Skulls are officially over at this complex. You are all expurgated. And you, Mr. Thanos, will no longer be protected. You and your thugs are going to be treated by the police like common, everyday murder suspects. You just, you, you, you couldn't leave well enough alone, could you, Commodore? You just, you, <laughs> you just weren't going to be happy until you went and you, 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 you dug a hole for yourself. Ah, Commodore. Gentlemen. What is this? We're, uh, we're going to need a few more minutes of your time, Commodore. Please, be my guest and have a seat. Son, do you realize how much trouble you're getting yourself into here? Let me just run something by you, Commodore, and you can tell me what you think. Okay, what we're going to do is, we're gonna have the complex shut down for a few days. When we're ready to reopen, oh, my friend, you are gonna have a whole new outlook. Hell, you're gonna, you're gonna love the Black Skulls when we're done with you. You can't intimidate me. I, I don't plan to intimidate you, sir. What I plan to do is change your mind from the inside. saw that shrine in my dorm room, right? Wasn't I supposed to know about that? Anyway, I'm sure a man of your intelligence can figure things out. A succubus, female sex demon, siren, whatever we want to call it, has a lair in an underground cave. A bunch of drunken pirates stumble upon it, and faster than you can say ahoy matey, well, they're suddenly vessels for the demon's acolytes. to give orders, friend. Did we forget who we're talking to? Who watches the Watchmen, Lee? Who runs the show? You see, the military training its own enemies, well, that's, that's nothing new, Lee, as I'm sure you know. But we are the military. Tomorrow we take over, we turn our guns back on you. Oh, Lee. Spider was a drone. Okay, his friends. <laughs> Drones. I mean, if this was your normal, everyday, waking life, those three could die tomorrow, Lee. It wouldn't change a damn thing. So why not take over then, Victor? What do you need me for? We need you. Because we need the best and the brightest minds the military can offer. We need them now before they grow up. Tacticians, Lee. Technicians. Warriors. You see, back in the cave, the succubus came up with the game plan. Just stealing men's souls just ain't enough for Lee. She wants to control everything. We need you. You're the last piece of the puzzle, Lee. Once we have you in place, we can start planning a hostile takeover. Dead. What do you want us to do? 
No to debt has stopped being an asset. There's now a liability. <laughs> I want him destroyed. Unless you want those two MPs to come over and detain both of us, I suggest you keep it to a dull roar, Cadet. Sorry. I told you I know more about this situation than you think. I followed you from the other side of the campus. Spider's dead. The Commodore's dead. Victor, right? And that's not even half of it. What are you doing here? That missile, the one they brought in. I can take the detonator off of it and use it to blow up the bunker. It all has to do with the bunker. Anyway, the detonator alone has enough explosives on it to blow up a two-story building. What are you talking about? Look, there's no easy way to say this. They're demons. The main one lives in an old underground bunker in the woods. It used to be a cave. I saw them. Demons? A succubus. A sex demon. That's what Victor said. Whatever it is, it wants to take over the military, the government, you name it. It's using the Black Skulls to help it, somehow. Oh, great. I'm here investigating missing cadets, and you're telling me this is the exorcist. Investigating? You're like, undercover. You could say that. Look, we just need to get somewhere safe, contact my superiors, they'll know what to do. Uh, no good. They're everywhere. This is the only way. You think blowing up this bunker is really gonna stop Victor Thanos? Definitely think it'll ruin his day. Okay, let's do this. Miss, I'm afraid you're not allowed beyond this point. And I'm afraid you're going to have to have your eyesight checked out as soon as possible, Mister. The insignia on my shoulder denotes me as a captain and your superior officer. Ma'am, Cap Captain. My student and I are here to check out the schematics of the AX-48. In order to do that, you will have to let us pass. Uh, the Commodore told me to the not- The Commodore? You can clear it with the Commodore on your own time. Anybody ever tell you that you are intimidating? Get out anymore until we're safe distance away from it, okay? I think it's deserted. And you're sure this is it? Blow it up and it's done. Actually, yeah, yeah. Extremely predictable, Lee. It ends here, Victor. Everything. And how is that? He's got a missile detonator in that backpack. Mm. <laughs> right, you still think I'm some undercover spy? Nope. Just a sex demon. A succubus. Welcome to my home. The complex. What have I been teaching you in class, Mr. Hanlon? The element of surprise. It's the best way to defeat one's enemies. I need you, Lee. You'll be my greatest warrior. 
For hundreds of years, they've been bringing me host bodies here. You are by far the finest I've come across. It won't hurt. I promise. Just close your eyes. Mommy will make it all better. Surprise. This bus goes to D.C., right? That's right. Non-stop service. Good. The ultimate complex. 